Welcome back everyone. We have a, a pretty interesting video today. It's how to draw a tangent or in this case two tangents, two external tangents to circles of different radii. Alright, so we're going to begin by drawing our first circle we went with a radius of 800 millimeters again it doesn't matter just had to move it out of the way it was too close to some other drawings and this is our second circle with a radius of 500 millimeters so the first thing we're going to do is connect the centers of both circles just like this and once we have connected the circles our next step is to find the midpoint of this connecting line so as our custom is I'm gonna draw two arcs using the same radius Alright, so that's our first arc there. All right, the radius is 2100 and this is the second arc. Now, who can tell me what's supposed to happen next? Feel free to pause the video and type it in the comments. Uh-huh, right. So we connect the two intersecting points on the arc and where this line cuts the original line is the center or the midpoint of the line now we are going to use that midpoint to draw one huge circle and the radius of the circle is the midpoint of the line and either one of the centers. As you can see, the circle passes through the centers of both circles. I just changed the lay on the circles. I changed it to pink so that they stand out a bit. That is my outline layer. Okay, so I'm drawing a smaller circle inside the large one you can see the radius is 300 and this is simply the difference between the radii of the first two circles so the larger of the two was 800 and the smaller was 500 leaving us with a difference of 300 what i'm going to do now is draw a line from the center of the small circle to where to where the construction circle cut it now I zoomed in a bit because it's kind of hard to see All right so this is the line there and I'm just gonna lengthen it to cut our original circle our circle with the radius of 800 millimeters now once we have this line in place we we need it we need a parallel of it over by the small circle i'm simply going to copy it over using the copy selection command i'll grab it at the base paste it at the center of this one of course it's too long for this circle so i'm going to trim it you see me enter the trim command i press enter and then i remove the excess so these two lines are parallel to each other but we're not done yet we need lines at the bottom of the circles also so once again from the center I pull a line to where our huge construction circle cut it that's this line here and I'll just point my cursor at that box and I'll lengthen it to come all the way down to the circumference of our 800 millimeter circle once more 
I will copy this line because we need it parallel. Copy this line. I grabbed it at the base. Well, in this case, it's probably the top. Grab it at the top. Paste it here, and I'm gonna trim again. Enter the trim command. I prefer to enter type my commands than to click on an icon. It's faster this way. Good. So now we have our tangential points, but we need to draw the actual tangents. I'm just changing back the layer of that circle. I had it on the outline layer, but it's really just a construction, uh, construction circle or construction line in the form of a circle. So this is our first tangent connecting the two points by the parallel lines that we drew. And this is our second tangent connecting both lines once more. Now just to differentiate the lines, I'm going to change the layer, change them to outline so it's easier to see. And yeah, that's it. That's how you get it done. Uh, feel free to feel free to view the video as many times as you need.